and welcome to this week's preview show where we have a very special guest alongside me. Charlie Daniels joins us as we look ahead to another big weekend in the Premier League. Coming up, we'll be looking back at that defeat to Wolves at Vitality Stadium last weekend. We'll hear from Charlie and how he's getting on through his rehab. And finally, we'll look ahead to this weekend's game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Well, we're going to start back at last weekend and that game against Wolves. Charlie, it was a, a tough first half, but a, a very spirited second half. Yeah, it was a, a tough start for us. You know, uh, the Wolves have been on a great run. I think it was unbeaten in seven going into the game. So we knew it was going to be a, a tough task. But, uh, you know, the second half we can be proud of, you know, going down to 10 men and, and playing the way that we did and causing... Wolves a hell of a lot of problems and scoring a goal and, and I'm fortunate not to uh, to get the draw in the end. And you know Eddie said that he felt we should have taken something out of the game, would you agree with that? Yeah we'll do, especially with our second half performance. I think the the way that we we opened them up and, and created a lot of chances, as I said with 10 men, you know, gives us a lot of belief going into the weekend. And Steve Cook, he got our goal and, and how impressed have you been with this season? He's had a great start and he's not missed a minute at Premier League football No, he's, he's been very good, you know, he's missed a consistent, especially for us over, over the years, you know, I don't think he's missed too many games uh, ever since he joined, so, you know, he's having a great season and uh, hopefully it continues. And how much confidence can the lads take from that second half, you know, down to 10 men and, you know, you'd be watching the game and you wouldn't, wouldn't even be able to tell? No, no, and that's, that's probably the biggest positive that we can, we can take from last week and you know, take it in into this weekend. You know, against a, a tough Spurs side who's been regenerated really since uh, the new appointment. And Dan Gosling, his first minute since April. How nice yeah. was that for you and the rest of the lads to see him? Yeah, back no, it's pitch? it's it's really nice to see uh, Gozo back. You know, I've seen him personally do his, his rehab and what it takes for him to get back on the pitch. So I'm really delighted for him to to get the minutes that he did. And something that came from last week, Philip Billing, he obviously got his fifth yellow card of the mm -hmm. season. He'll be a big loss this weekend, won't he? Yeah, he will be. You know, Phil's been a, a great acquisition for us and he's he's played really, really well and settled in really nicely. So it's, it's going to be a big loss, but it's a, an opportunity for, for someone else to come and take the position. And Phil came in in the summer along with four others. How have they settled mm -hmm. into the group and what have they been like out on the training ground? Now, everyone's been really good. You know, we... Uh, We've recruited really well and in the positions that we, we needed to and you know, all the lads have settled in really well and uh, you know everyone's looking to take their chance and, and you say someone misses out but then someone gets another opportunity. And we had Simon Francis on the show at the back end of last season when he'd done his ACL and he said on a match day he wasn't involved in the team but he liked to go into the dressing room and you know wish the lads well before the game. Is that similar for yourself? Well it was the, it was the first time I've been to... Uh, the stadium on a, on a match day since I done my injury so I went in the, in the change room and it, you say it was a little bit surreal because obviously I haven't been in there for a, a good number of weeks but you know to see the lads how they were pumped up before the game it it brought all the feelings back and uh, yeah it was a it was a good feeling and I'm sure everyone is sat at home waiting for me to ask you how you're getting on and, and how you're doing so if you could give us a bit of insight on yeah no it. everything's going well so far uh, I've started to go on a bike now which is which is good which is progress for me you know I can start getting some CV work in which is which has been tough I was in a I was in a brace for eight weeks you know keeping my legs straight so that that was a that was a tough task but now I can start bending it and you know increasing the range day by day so to get on a bike and that is uh, is another little tick and you know we just need to keep going along and see how we get on and what have your teammates been like over the last few months how, how supportive have they been yeah no they've been the best you know everyone's had their ups and downs you say with uh frano and lewis cook and and uh callum wilson you know have had long knee-term injuries so you know you get inspiration for them and and see how well they've done since they've come back so that gives me hope and and a positive outlook on on my injury and in the treatment room when you're doing rehab, does it help having other people in there who, who aren't quite fit yet, Junior Stanislas David? Bruce? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather they weren't be in there. I'd rather them be on the pitch. But, uh, you know, it's nice to see, you know, Junior was back out on the pitch uh, the other day. So that was a, a massive positive. You know, he's he's had a terrible bit of, bit of luck, you know, with, with the injury he's had. But so nice to see him back on the, on the training pitch, you know, and uh, and hopefully not too far away. And, and same with Brooksy, really, you know. We all want to see him back on the pitch and performing the way he was last season. And people that have had long-term injuries, you know yourself, 
um, Simon Francis, Lewis Cook. Do you all kind of talk to each other, see how you're getting on? And yeah, you, you push each other. Through? Yeah, you see each other time to time. You know, when they're they're out training, it's it's tough, you know, because you're on your own. It's literally uh, you against yourself, really, to try and push yourself through. But uh, when the lads come in, they they pop over and you know they say a few words and see how it's going on. So it's it's always nice to to get that reassurance. And of course, we've got such a great backroom team. You know, we've got mm -hmm. sports scientists, physios. How much of a help are they to you? You know, when you, you're going through all your rehab and trying to just push on to the next step. Yeah, they're they're the essential ones, really. You know, they're they're the ones not only physios and but they're actually psychologists and and mentors as well. Uh, so to work with the ones that we have here is is really good. And you know, they've they've seen enough people go through bad injuries and and what it takes so uh, you know we're really lucky that we've got the people that we have here. Absolutely well next up our attention is going to turn to this weekend's game at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium let's have a look at what Eddie Howe had to say in his pre-match press conference. Yeah David Brooks we haven't seen um, as yet in on the training ground yeah Josh King's still out um, and then the long-term ones yeah are still still not there. Unusually for us um, we haven't been so good in open play and in some of our attacking play. Um, it's something we're, we're, of course, looking at and analysing. I do think the chances have been there. Um, even last week against Wolves, we had, a, we had a, a, a couple of chances we'd be frustrated with. We didn't do better. So we know the abilities there within the squad. Yeah, We have to go into every game believing we can win. I think this is a really good challenge, a good opportunity for us to put last week behind us. And I always think if you can get a result against these types of teams, then it, it, uh, confidence levels shoot through the team. So that's what we're looking to do. And then here, as you say, we, um, we had the numerical advantage, but we found it tough to break them down. And the goal came very late. So um, listen, I'll take the, the latter. I'll take any kind of win. Um, but I think first and foremost, we need to go with the right mentality. Well, that was Eddie Howe speaking in his pre-match press conference. It's going to be a, a very tough one tomorrow, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, it will be. You know, they've uh, had a change of manager who's seemed to rejuvenate their squad over the last couple of games. You know, they've had two good wins and uh, we're going to go there and it's going, to, it's going to be a tough task. And as you say, you know, they've had two good wins. They scored six goals. Mourinho yeah. certainly got them playing again, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. I mean, just like any team really when they change the manager there's always going to be a, a resurgence of form and you know it's going to be down to us to, to go there and, and nullify their threats and, and create our own chances. And when you heard that Pochettino had left the club were you as surprised as everyone else? Yeah I think it was a more the timing of it I think it was an unusual time for them to to get rid of Pochettino but they obviously had someone lined up in, in Mourinho and you know I don't think they would have, Daniel Levy would have taken it lightly to uh, to get rid of Pochettino, but uh, as I said, they've had a uh, two wins out of two, so things are going well for them at the minute. But uh, hopefully, we can uh, we can stop that. And normally, we stand here and we pick out one or two players of the opposition's team, ones to look out for. But it's impossible with Spurs, isn't it? Because they've got stars all over that pitch. Yeah, you know they've got top quality players. That's why they've been up there and you know got to the Champions League final last season. So. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be at our very best if we want to get anything like that. But we can go there with, with no, nothing against us. You know, we're going to be go there with a lot of confidence, especially with the way we played in the last uh, game. So, uh, you know, we're going to go there with every chance. We're going to play the way that we play and, you know, hopefully create some chances. And as you say, you know, that second half from Wolves, we can take a lot of confidence. And, you know, the game against Tottenham at the back end of last season as well, a 1-0 win, that was a, a brilliant day, a brilliant result. And, you know, we'll be looking to create that feeling again. Exactly, yeah. That's that's what we're going to go into. I'm, I'm sure the, the Geffel would have shown them the, the game that we played against them last season and the way we, we can open them up and, and create chances. And as I said, we're going to we're gonna go there with no pressure on us and uh, going to play the way we're going to play and, and, as I say, hopefully come away with some points and a former Spurs player yourself. What are your memories of, of the club and your time there? It's changed a lot since I was there. You know, they've got a new training ground, new stadium. Uh, but as a club, to to learn how to, the way to play football, it was uh, it was essential for me. And, and you know, uh, you see how many people that have gone through the academy that have gone on to play professional football. It's a, it's a testament to the club and the, and the coaches that they have there. And as you say, you know, the, the, the facilities are have developed yeah. they've got this new stadium have you had a chance to go yet i haven't been yet hopefully i can go uh saturday i'm looking forward to that so uh 
yeah, it'll be the first time I'd rather be playing. But uh, you know, to go there and, and soak up the atmosphere and, and watch watch Bournemouth play, it will be a special occasion. And you went up to Newcastle a few weeks ago yep. to watch the lads up there and, and much the same hopefully this weekend as you say? Yeah, much the same, hopefully a better result. But uh, yeah, much the same, you know, we the Newcastle game I thought we played really well for the first first half, you know, unfortunate with the goal that we conceded just before half time. But uh, the way we dominate the first half, hopefully we can, we can take that into the Spurs game. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the fans and wishing you a very speedy recovery. Cheers. Thank you. Now then, if you want to have a go at predicting the score this weekend, you can head over to Mansion and play their Cherries Champions game. You could be in with a chance of winning tickets to our game with Burnley here next month. That's all we've got time for today. If you are going up to Spurs, then have a safe trip. But if not, make sure you keep an eye on all of our social media channels and the website for the latest updates. Bye for now.